Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Saturday, March 23rd. Tesla Cybertruck is ready for wireless inductive charging. Tesla has never seemed interested in wireless charging for its EVs, but they have talked about automating the task in order to be ready for full self-driving. If the car can drive itself, it would make sense for it to be able to charge itself. Chief designer Franz von Holshausen recently confirmed that Tesla is working on a wireless charging pad. And now, we can confirm that at least one Tesla vehicle is ready for it. Now, many think wireless charging will be a game changer once it's widespread, but really only time will tell what results inductive car charging will yield. Leading EV maker BYD shook the industry after unveiling the new Seagull with a starting price of $9,700. The new EV comes with a 30 kilowatt hour battery and 190 mile range, but more importantly, BYD earns a profit on the Seagull, which has American automakers worried. BYD's new Seagull could be a wake-up call for the rest of the industry. Meanwhile, American automakers are already losing market share. The big three have seen their share of the U.S. market crater from 75% in 1984 to around 40% in 2023. BYD has a major advantage as it builds nearly all components for its vehicles. BYD's next-gen EV platform could slash costs even further, putting even more pressure on American automakers to act. The heads of BMW, Volkswagen, and Renault have spoken out against the EU's emission targets, arguing that consumers aren't buying EVs fast enough. Next year, the policy will tighten ahead of the full ban of gas and diesel cars in 2035, leaving automakers to pay steep fines if they fall short. BMW has already said that it has reduced its own CO2 emissions fleet to an average 20% below the European target for 2023. The company estimated 50% EV sales by 2030 worldwide, and possibly higher in Europe. Still, automakers are urging the EU to turn down the pressure, and the 2035 ICE car ban is facing some serious heat ahead of June's European election as the momentum for reversing the ban is growing. However, Europe's Automaker Association said that it is not pushing back and is all in with the EV future. They added that the upcoming ban targets of 2035 is potentially feasible, but the right conditions must be put in place. Those conditions usually mean consumers opting for European cars over Chinese ones, as European automakers face immense pressure from cheaper, high quality Chinese brands arriving by the shipload. Automakers are fiercely lobbying governments to water down emission rules, even as market entrants that are serious about EVs continue to grow. The auto industry is rapidly electrifying and new entrants are filling the EV gap left by traditional automakers. China is actually a little late to the EV party, but uptake in recent years has been quite rapid. EV market share is approaching 50% ahead of everywhere except Nordic countries. China may not always be the first entrant into a market, but once it truly commits its efforts to something, those efforts tend to bear fruit rapidly. And now Chinese EV sales have started taking off overseas, particularly in Europe. While they still make up a relatively small percentage of the market, around 10%, that share has risen rapidly from less than 1% in 2019. What's pushing EV adoption is not necessarily the rules, but rather consumer demand. If American automakers refuse to offer more efficient choices, and China does, then China will take the win. It's clear that in a globalized auto market, if you don't make it, someone else will. Tesla stock dropped this morning due to a report that the automakers are reducing their EV output at Gigafactory Shanghai because of lower demand. Tesla removed one and a half days of work and gave instructions to lower production of both the Model Y and Model 3. Lately, it seems Tesla is having more difficulty than usual selling their cars in China. This explains the deep discounts and incentives being offered. On top of the difficulty selling its current inventory, Tesla sales of China-made vehicles are also down this year. Competition in China is extremely high, with Chinese EV manufacturers offering cheaper EVs and increasing their quality. In today's community comment found on YouTube, 
Somebody mentioned that maybe Tesla shouldn't have called their self-driving initiatives full self-driving. I think you have a point there, especially since it's been a few years already since they came up with the name and we are still only at level two. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.